Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step the process to color grade your Osmo Pocket 3 D-Log footage quickly and easily using the official DJI LUT file. All right, let's get straight into it. Okay guys, in this video, we're specifically looking at how do we convert our footage that we've recorded in D-Log on the Pocket 3 and get it to look normal um, that we're used to seeing with the sort of bright colors and the contrast and for using on our YouTube videos or footage or whatever we want to do. Now that actually process, rather than calling color grading, is actually to be really color conversion because we're converting from the D-Log M color profile, which has got billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of colors, to um, the Rec 709 standard, which is pretty much associated with T high definition TVs. It's been around for a number, a number of years. And so that's Rec 709 color profile, is uh, you know what we're used to seeing with our sort of naked eye, effectively like you know look, it looks right, it looks normal. So you know the contrast and the saturation and stuff like that. Whereas of course D-Log M looks much more sort of flat because it's got a whole, a whole load of colours that even our human eyes can't kind of distinguish. All right, now just before we go into the process, um, how you can do it, I'm just going to give you a very quick background um, information if you're interested. If you're not interested in, in the actual part that, of the history, then you, know, you can fast forward to the timestamp I'm going to display right now to get straight into what we need to do. So the color grading process is actually made up of effectively kind of three uh, sub-processes, I suppose. The first thing is a color correction, and that's where we would um, change things like the white balance to make sure it's right. We would um, change saturations um, like con contrast and brightness and blacks and stuff like that. And we would generally do that on the log footage um, because that's got the most detail and it's not going to kind of break up if we do it later, later in a process. If you're a photographer, you might be used to things like a RAW file from like Nikon or Canon and something like that. So kind of the D-Log um, footage is kind of the equivalent of your RAW footage on your photography, where you would make changes to that first of all, and then you would convert it to JPEG for people to display on their devices. So the Rec 709 color profile it's a little bit, you know, as, as if it's a comparison of having like a JPEG uh, picture, which can be displayed on pretty much all devices. And that's our kind of our final goal. Once we've done the conversion to Rec 709, the final stage in this optional is where we actually um, provide our kind of look, I suppose. So if we want to, for example, um, increase the blues or increase the reds or make it a little bit more grainy um, just for our specific movie or video, then that is the true color grading process. So we kind of grade from Rec 709 to our final look. But of course, most people aren't interested in, in doing the third stage and they're probably not actually that interested in doing the first stage either. So I just want to go straight from Pocket 3 straight to Rec 709. So that's now where we're going to talk about how to do it. Okay, so now that we've downloaded the, the uh, LUT file, we need to go to Wondershare Filmora, which I have open here. Um, I have a number of clips. The first three here is the log format for my clips. And then I've got uh, the same footage again, but with the normal color profile. So we can see the difference between the color profile and the flat the log file. So the idea is we're going to apply the LUT that we downloaded, uh, the LUT that we've downloaded, and we get it to convert the log format to the Rec 709. Okay, so what we're going to do is click on the actual clip itself Go to the right hand side where we've got video, audio, color. We're going to click on the color tab. And then where we've got LUT on just about here, we're going to switch on the LUT. And notice at the moment it says there's a preset of none. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in the LUT that we've downloaded. So we can click on the add button. And it comes up with a, um, on a folder with a number of cube files. Now, if we've already um, imported it in previously, and um, we can just sort of find it from the list here. And you can actually then, if you want to use it for future projects, you can simply um, open up this folder um, in Finder or with, uh, Windows Explorer, and just copy in the cube file into this folder for it to actually find it in the future. But if you don't want to actually um, use it for future projects, maybe you just want to use it for this particular project, then what we're going to do is just browse to this particular uh, cube file that I've downloaded. I'm just going to just drag it in so it can get straight to that folder. There we go. And then hit click open. And now we can see that it says uh, LUT preset. It's got the Osmo Pocket 3 Rec 709. And you can see it's already applied it to the clip. So if I switch it off, that's what it is in the log format. 
and now it's converted it to Rec 709 and you can see the color changes here. Let's now click on the other clip here and we currently got an LUT of presets set to none. So we just now need to just click on where it's got none and just choose the um, one that we've just imported in here. So the Pocket 3 LU uh, log to Rec 709 and now you can see again it's pre uh, converted it to Rec 709. Let's just do the other log uh, clip here and you can see it's quite flat. So let's just once again click on it and we've now changed it to uh, Rec 709. Now you can see the colors between the two clips are pretty much the same. Um, there's a little bit of different contrast and because the lighting changed, but other than that, the colors are pretty much the same. So um, you can see how quickly it is to apply a, a, a LUT from your Pocket 3 to Rec 709. It's as easy as that in one to share for Mora. You probably then want to just go to your curves and just change the contrast to make it a little bit more punchy and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so that's how easy it is to import uh, the Pocket 3 uh, LUT from DJI and to convert your footage from Pocket 3 to Rec 709. Okay guys, I hope you find that video useful and if you do of course, give it a good thumbs up and of course, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and if you can subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks like this, it's much appreciated. Take care and see you soon.